Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to have a look at Flameshot. Flameshot is a screenshot utility for XORG based window managers and desktop environments. It works on Wayland, but you have to uh, enable some options to make it work on Wayland. If you want a video on how to make Flameshot work on Wayland, I'll be happy to do that video too. So today I'm just going to go about the basic options that are found in Flameshot. So let's move to my desktop here and let's launch Flameshot. So what happens if I simply launch Flameshot? Nothing uh, seems to happen, but you can see that uh, system tray icon of Flameshot has been launched. This is what happens when you simply launch Flameshot from your run launcher. So if I press that icon, it opens a capture screen and you have this uh, plus, uh, plus symboled cursor which you can use to select the area of the screen which you want to be screenshotted. So you can do that. So that is the default way in which Flameshot can be used. But Flameshot has some other options as well. It is not a very uh, feature rich screenshot tool in the sense that it doesn't have a lot of options, but you can do whatever you want with it. So if I go to Flameshot dash H, it will show me the different options that Flameshot has. First of all is Flameshot GUI. So if I run Flameshot, GUI what it will do it will manually launch the capture mode so this is the capture screen that we saw earlier so if you run this flameshot GUI command then it will launch this capture window then we have flameshot screen to capture just the single screen that is now I have two monitors here so if I just want to copy the copy the contents of the monitor that I am pre present in that I'm in now the active monitor then I'll use the flameshot screen so if i do that it will ask me where i want to save this so if i give save it will save that particular screenshot here then let's clear the screen if i do flame shot dash h again we can see the remaining options we have flame shot full so if i do flame shot full what it will do is it will capture both my monitors so if i give save and let me open my file manager so the last one uh, was the, la the last uh, file here is the final screenshot that we took so let's open it in uh, nomax so you can see this is my first monitor the primary monitor which you are seeing and this is the secondary monitor where my uh, screen recording software is running it's capturing this video and the audio of this video so that is a very good option now let's go to the final option flame shot launcher actually i have not used this before let's uh, see what it does okay so it uh, opens the flame shot uh, launcher and you can select uh, all monitors or rectangle region so if i do take new screenshot what it does it opens the uh, area selector or the capture screen where you can select the area which you want to be screenshotted so then you have full screen option so that is very very simple but it has a lot of a lot of options so for example I have any I have made the print screen on my keyboard to launch the flame shot GUI so it will straight go into this capture mode so if I select a particular area you have all these different options so first of all this is a pencil paint tool so you can write anything you want on this screenshot and then you have a line as line tool you can draw a line or you can underline using that then an arrow you can uh, show something for example you are taking a screenshot and you want to put this image in your website it's a tutorial so you can show this you can use this flame shot dash edge option you can give the caption down and you can show an arrow key like this and then you have a, a selection tool like this then a block then you have a circle then what is this you have a marker yeah again you can uh, like highlight like this then you have the text tool you can write anything on the screenshot then what is this you have a number one two three you can uh, okay it's really really cool and the options they have is really fantastic and you can also blur something so if you don't want some particular uh, information from the screenshot to be present in your website or if you're going to show this in a video you don't want your personal information or some information that may get your copyright uh, struck so those informations can be blurred also so there are a lot of options you can go through all these options and you can find out what everything does again there is a color this is uh, changing color and i don't know what this does 
okay i think it does the same thing and then you can move the selection using that and uh, then you have uh, what's this okay it's a uh, undo and a redo buttons here then you can copy the selection whatever you have uh, taken uh, selected for uh, the screenshot you can copy them and you can paste it in some other things for example i can uh, copy this and if i open gimp i think i can copy it there let's uh, see yeah i can just do control v to paste that particular uh, screenshot let's go back here let's open here then what are the other options that we have okay so depending on your screenshot the tools just move here and there then you have the save option then you have the cancel option you can upload the selection you can choose an app to capture it and you can pin image on the desktop so it is a very comprehensive yet very simple screenshot tool now how do i use flame shot i normally don't run flame shot and launch it from the uh, system tray i just uh, have key bindings so let's open doom emacs and let's go to my awesome config file so dot config slash awesome and readme.org so it's taking a bit of time to launch yeah it's opening here let's search for flame shot so here we have so what this key binding does is if i press the print key so here everything is blank so there is no mod key or any other control alt no keys involved just press the print key and what's the function of that it will spawn or it will launch flame shot gui so if i press the print key it will launch the flame shot gui where i can select and i can uh, choose whatever i can select the area which i want to screenshot and i can save it or do whatever i want with that now you can add a couple more uh, uh, couple more key bindings for this so let's begin underscore src lua and let's uh, simply go here and get into visual mode we to get into visual mode let's copy this entire uh, uh, block of command and let's come here let's paste it here and let's change the command here so let's do for example flame shot screen and uh, let's change the key binding for that let's uh, keep it as mod key so mod key comma and then the print key so mod key plus print will give me the flame shot screen so let's uh, close this hashtag plus end underscore src to close that uh, block of code and let's uh, or we can we can just make it a single code i'll do that later i just uh, thought of that now let's go with the flow so lua and let's paste this now let's uh, do flame shot full and let's uh, come here let's plus end underscore src so i think the description has to be changed let's do this take full screenshot take screen screenshot uh, whatever we want now if i do escape to get out of insert mode colon w to write it will automatically tangle because of the org auto tangle uh, package that i have it will automatically tangle to rc.lua now if i do control super r it will reload the awesome uh, config uh, awesome window manager and my new key bindings will be ready to work so if i do mod mod print what it will do is actually i didn't change the key binding properly here okay so mod shift did i do that no so that's going to create some conflicts here so let's do mod key comma shift i do mistakes like this very often so no, nothing to worry here so mod shift so mod uh, so normally just the print uh, button uh, print uh, button will what it will do is it will launch the flame shot gui and mod key with the print key will open the flame shot screen and mod key shift and print will capture uh, will open the command flame shot full that means it will capture both the monitor so let's do colon w to write and control super r to respawn the awesome window manager now let's do mod shift that is super shift and print now if i save this and i go to my file manager here i open the latest uh, file here you can see it captured both my screens here so this is how i typically use 
flame shot so i think this video was useful it's not a very difficult video or something that nobody knows before everybody knows about this but there are some people who may not have known about this and i just want to make sure that these simple things are known to everybody so i'll meet you in the next video thank you for watching have a nice day